He's running. He's running into a dead end. A dangerous situation now. He's trying to. He's backing up here. He uh, this this road. I saw Foster Road comes to an end, and he's got nowhere to go right now. He's got a gate there. He's backing up. This is such a dangerous situation. Officers with guns drawn. And let's see what he does. If he tries to make his way through here, he's if he rams that vehicle. They're going to open fire. They will open fire. If he uses that, that vehicle, oh, gunshots fired, shots fired. Glass, you can see the glass, shots were fired. This is a situation that you have to understand that deadly force is using a vehicle. He was driving right towards those officers. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my gosh, he was shooting his gun! A murder suspect hanging outside of the window of the car he was riding in firing back at officers in hot pursuit. The passenger who was wanted for questioning in the fatal shooting of a convenience store employee. Finally, the car got stuck behind a truck with the shooter and the female driver both struck by gunfire. Officers are shooting at that vehicle right now. Wow, wow, suspect is hit, suspect is down, suspect is down. Suspect is hospitalized with numerous injuries. A driver was shot as well, but her wounds are not life-threatening. That is unbelievable. Overnight, a dramatic car chase through the streets of Los Angeles. Watch this armed carjacker brazenly leading police on a miles-long pursuit. This cell phone video shows the bandit getting out of the wrecked vehicle and trying to hijack this white car. The driver refusing to get out, speeding away. The suspect then running up to 22-year-old Elizabeth Yarwan's car, pulling open the door and pushing her onto the road. He just came up to me and pointed the gun at me and told me to get out my car. He tries to carjack yet another vehicle unsuccessfully. That's when police opened fire, the carjacker dropping to the ground as almost a dozen officers surround him. 